Okay. All right, dessert. Dessert time. You know what they say in Godfather? Don't forget to bring on the cannolis! Don't forget the cannolis! So, today, we went back local, we went super local, we went to a new, they call themselves a coffee bar. A coffee bar. A coffee bar in Stittsville, along Stittsville, Maine. We're supporting, honey, we, we support quitters too, we're going to support yeah. both. We hope yeah. that Stittsville's growing enough that there's room for the both of there's them, they can both. both survive and it'll all be fine, okay? And so, some things that are different between the both of them, quitter sells alcohol. Okay. Honey sells gelato. Okay, interesting. Razvan is gonna like the gelato. I know. Here's every, a picture of Razvan. Every time gelato. I go in there, I've only been in there twice. I'm thinking Raz would love this place. Raz, you're gonna love this place. I like Quitters because you can have a beer there at night and sit on the. They have that little back area you can yeah. chill. I I quite like Quitters so. Honey's got some tough competition, but yeah. we'll see how it is. Now, Honey has sandwiches. They have sandwiches, crepes, waffles, shakes, smoothies. You can add protein to the shakes and smoothies, by the way. Mm. And yeah, but their main source, and then they have toast. So they got grilled cheese, tuna melts, <sighs> avocado toasts. Mm. But today, we are having sandwiches. It was very hard not to buy a crepe and a waffle as well. Ooh, that would have been good. Instead, the surprise was... The other dessert. Oh, we got the dessert. I can't wait to see. Yeah. Okay, let's whip them out. Okay, so I think they have a little Italian theme going on at that restaurant just because they have gelato and the names of the sandwiches are like Luigi, Mario. A, a Nintendo theme. A Nintendo theme, but then all the sandwiches are kind of like Italian. So it's got a bit of a Frank's vibe to it. Yes, exactly. They have fun named of sandwiches. Also, one of their sandwiches is called the Squally. I think that's a fun one to say. So I have here, this is the honey sandwich. You right here have the spicy Mario. Spicy Mario! Spicy Mario! So whatever that is. I'm actually quite excited for this because I think Stitzville really needed a nice sandwich shop. Yeah. If you come visit us in Stittsville, we'll take you for we'll a take sandwich. You to Honey's. We'll take you for a sandwich at Honey's and then a coffee at Quitters. Yeah. How about that? And a beer at Quitters. Yeah. Anyways. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Love the spice. Yeah. There's, this one's got a nice sweetness. Do you want to switch the other half? I guess so. I don't really want to give this up. I quite really like it. I didn't really want to give mine up either. But. but, you know, I like to try it all. I like exactly. to try it all. This is delicious. Um, I love the spice. I'm a spice lord. Spice lord. Sean Evans, hot ones. Love doing the hot ones. Would you just find out? I just hot found ones? out hot ones is releasing a shoe. Ooh. Some hot shoes. Should I cop them? Wee, wee, wee. No, I have the sound effect. Okay. Here's the sound effect. I think they should get them. I think it'd be hilarious. This is real good. This is delicious. They got their little Italian in there. You might be wondering, why is it called honey? I am wondering that. Okay. So, I was wondering, and then on the back of their shirts, they have a definition of coffee. And I was just reading it while I was waiting for my food. And it goes... It's a black substance that brings you from leave me alone to good morning, honey. Ah, ah, he said it, he said it. And I was like, that's why it's called honey. It also says sweet like honey on the label. Mm. And there's a small dog driving a moped. A Milton. I quite like that. See this little mocha pot? Here's my question for you guys this week. Mm. How do you make your coffee? Great question. Two-parter, two actually. How do you make your coffee if you're just on your home every day, like going to work, quick coffee? How do you make your coffee when you want a nice coffee? What's your technique to make 
the nicest coffee? Do you just go out and buy it at, at Honey or Quitters? Or do you have, do you use the mocha pot? Do you use the French press? Do you have an espresso machine? Do you have a, some kind of pour over drip? Pour over. Do you have the AeroPress? There's so many ways. I'm sure there's, or just like a coffee bot. Coffee maker. Do you do the steam milk? Let me know. Do you have an espresso? Let me know, a Keurig? Let me know. Do you guys have a espresso maker? Do you have a good espresso maker? And is it worth it to get mm -hmm. an espresso maker? Let us know. Let us know. Is Shred it, us know in the comments. Shred us know. Is it easy to make coffee with an espresso maker? Because I like making coffee. I like, I love making coffee. But I'm not good at it. Okay. I have yet to try the other one. Same. Time for the spicy. I just went from sweet. Now I'm going to spicy. This cheese flips. Is this cheese? Mm -hmm. It's a very soft cheese. Yeah, I'll do it. Give you a grass section. This is the honey sandwich. See that thick slice of cheese? And this is the spicy Mario. You got nice, like, spicy salamis on there. Yeah. Healthy amount. What's this thing falling off? Roasted, like red red pepper? Pepper. roasted red pepper? Yeah. Delicious. everyone that commented on our video last week great feedback Sydney I 100% agree with you that the macadamia nut is the best cookie at Subway followed by the M&M and that's what we had that day and Adam told us there's a Mr. Sub near us on Carling Carling thank you Adam thank you we'll have to try it one day we'll check it out we will we'll do Mr. Sub versus Quiznet oh yeah. I prefer the spicy Mario. This one is very good. This one's alright. This one feels more filling. Yeah, that one's unreal. That's a good, this is a good sandwich. It's more like a snacky That's sandwich. A snack. This one's like lots of meat. Yeah. Spicy. This, That's a really good sandwich. This is like a Frank style sandwich. Can you believe that presidential election? Anyways, you guys probably know the result of the election. We're sitting here waiting waiting on nevada you know little nevada dylan made a great joke yesterday what was that i was like you think they'd be good at counting because of las vegas you got all those casinos mm -hmm. counting chips counting cards gambling you know you think they'd be pretty good at it i think they'd be really fast at it okay all right dessert dessert time you know what they say in godfather don't forget the cannoli yeah 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 and that's exactly what we have here today, folks. Cannolis. I figured, let's try some local cannolis before we try Frank's cannolis. We've got to try Frank's. We can tell you guys, we're going to get into the cannoli game. Yeah, we're going to get into the cannoli And uh, we'll let you guys know where, where are the good cannolis, what's the best cannoli. I think this is like one of the first times I've ever had a cannoli. So let me tell you, one of the, the first time I had a cannoli was in New York City. And I hated it. You hated it? I did not like the cannoli. She did not like it. And I think it was because I thought the inside was whipped cream. And I was sorely mistaken because it's cheese. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like it. I think there's too much cheese for my lactose intolerant yeah, body. I this one. I watched them squeeze it as well. This is freshly squeezed cannoli. But I'll give it a try. Okay, let's go. Cannoli time. Cannoli time. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I think I was talking to the owner while I was waiting for my food, and he was saying he gets the ricotta, that's how he said it, delivered once a week, and he's getting fresh ricotta delivered tomorrow. Oh, so we got the worst of the group. Exactly, and I was like, oh, I should have came freaking tomorrow. And then he said, but this weekend, I'm going to split the batch up, and he's going to make coffee-flavored cannolis and regular mm -hmm. cannolis, and so I thought... Uh, and I told him, I said, oh, I'm going to have to come back for that. We'll post us trying the coffee flavored on our Instagram story. So uh, check out the Instagram story. This is the handle. 
and you can see a little uh, video of that next mm -hmm. week. These are quite good. Mm -hmm. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a cannoli. Graham's going to be mad at me because he's going on about how great Frank's cannolis are. I, this is my first time ever having a cannoli. It's delicious. I'm really enjoying it. If Frank's is better than this, I don't know, man. It's going to be tough to beat. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to... We, this could be the greatest cannoli in the entire world. Mm -hmm. We don't even know. If this is our baseline for cannolis, all those other cannolis, better watch out. You better watch out, other cannolis. You got a tough time <laughs> to beat it. I think this is as good as time as any to say, let's get Dylan to review The Godfather 2. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, can you believe the weather we're having right now? It's beautiful. Anyways, last night we watched The Godfather 2. It was three hours and 22 minutes long with an intermission halfway through. It was a very long video. I would be lying if I said I paid attention during the whole video. This video movie did not keep my attention the whole time. Um, I found it interesting that Godfather 2 started the same way as Godfather 1. Both had pretty big events. And it ended the same way with freaking Mikey killing everyone. So, you know, I'm a Vito fan. I'm a Vito fan through and through, but I am not a Mikey fan. And that's all I have to say on that. I'm looking forward to Godfather 3, though. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in this week. Um, I'll send you off with a little episode of ASMR. Ooh. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Go check out Honey. Sorry, that's really hard to do. It's not really working, but remember to support local and uh, enjoy your week. See you next week. Bye, guys. What's your name to say hello? Look who came to say hello, you never come for lunch with us. <laughs>